Gary, GPT-5 has just dropped. What are your thoughts? It's not what people expected or hoped it would be. Yep. I keep telling them that it's not going to be what they thought. Um, Kevin Scott, a year ago, was going around giving talks showing GPT-5 as a humpback whale compared to GPT-4. It was you know, some smaller creature. And there ain't no humpback whale there. It's better in a bunch of different ways. Elon Musk's Grok 4 is actually better on Francois Cholet's Arc AGI 2 task. You know, it's, it's part of the pack. It's not separated from the pack. And after 32 months of hearing people talk about it, I think it was reasonable to say, hey, we want to see something you know, genuinely different here. And it's not there. And it's so late, too. Like, I remember after or the day before Super Bowl 2024, people saying, hey, it's going to drop tonight. It's going to be so cool after the Super Bowl. Well, here we are 18 months later. And it's let's be honest, it's a disappointment. Christmas Day 2022. Yep. I wrote a piece called What to Expect When You're Expecting GPT-4. And I say people's minds will be blown at first, yep. but eventually they'll realize that it still hallucinates. It still has reasoning errors. It's still not the magic AGI that they wanted. And I just reposted that a week ago and I just did search and replace for GPT-4 and changed it to GPT-5. Published it you know, three years later and I published that at the end of July and it looked like I was basically right. People's minds will be initially blown, but in the end of the day, it's not AGI. It's still going to have the same old problems. 